you very much. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Nita. New year, new titles, new music, but same old face, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. You can't have everything even in 1996. But nevertheless, Happy New Year, Countdowners. Happy New Year! Well, here we are back again, raring to go, taking you to the New Year in uh, great style. I'm delighted to say we can start 1996 with uh, Champion, because he was left over from the last series, if you see what I mean. Here he is, Glyn Wigley. You will doubtless remember that in uh, September, in those seasons of mists and mellow fruitfulness, he had three wins, but it wasn't enough to get him into the quarterfinals, but he decided that he would uh, carry his bat into uh, this series. So here he is again, true to form. He's 31, he's single, and he's a customs and excise officer from Romford in Essex. Well, we declare that he enjoys dart chess quizzes, and that he's potty about Doctor Who and Star Trek, so obviously he's hoping to show plenty of enterprise today by proving he's the real McCoy, and he'll cling on to the, <laughs> to the countdown crown. So good luck to the lad for the new year, Glyn Wigley. <laughs> Hark, who comes here? Yes, looking bright and fresh after who knows what last night. <laughs> but here she is, Janet Wilding from Whitnash in Leamington Spa in Warwickshire. She also is single. Uh, she plays hockey, squash, tennis and golf. She loves to travel and she'd like to go to the Far East. Now, just take a look at this lady. Don't look at me now, look at her, that's it. Now, if, she loved to, if you think you've seen her before, well, you could be right, especially on the streets of Leamington Spa, because she is a police woman. Ooh, so as far as Countdown's concerned, she's hoping she'll fit the bill. So welcome <laughs> to Janet Wilding. Good luck, Janet. <laughs> I've got a bit of a cheeky chaffy coming up uh, tomorrow, I can tell you. Uh, here he is, Dominic Moyes, and Dominic Moyes will be taking on either Janet or Glynn. Well now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have to say that at uh, this point in the proceedings, as you know, I waffle on a bit and normally introduce our guardian of the dictionaries, but uh, January the 1st being what January the 1st is, uh, our scheduled guest phoned in sick about half an hour ago, so a major crisis and the miracle was needed, so we phoned our magical mate, Geoffrey Durham, to see if he could uh, help, and he promised to put in an appearance. So please welcome, we hope, Geoffrey Durham. Well, piff, puff, puff, here we are. Um, I'm very, very glad, glad to be back. It's, uh, it's been too long, and I enjoyed my first stint on Countdown enormously, and I'm delighted to be able to welcome in Dictionary Corner with me a right old clever clogs. He's the former countdown champion of champions and world Scrabble champion, Mark Nyman. Hello. And you do a bit of producing on the side as well, don't you, Mark? Just occasionally. <laughs> and there's a, there's a new book, isn't there, you, we've got yes, today? Yes, um, we have the major new edition of the Concise Oxford Dictionary, the ninth edition, which contains uh, thousands of new words, um, such as belty, slapper, video fit, supermodel. You couldn't have that on countdown because it's a ten-letter word. But that will be our uh, <laughs> Bible um, for this series, and uh, this is what we'll be going by. Yeah, so we're bang up to, in other words, we're bang up to date, as modern as it can be. And all the words, of course, have got to be uh, in the Oxford, uh, the COD, as we call it, the Concise Oxford Dictionary. OK. Well, nice to see Mark this side of the camera, of course, and it's nice to welcome back a lady who, of course, the camera loves. What can I tell you about her? Well, I can say, I can say with my own intimate knowledge, ladies and gentlemen, she is in every respect the equal of Pamela Anderson, <laughs> apart, from, apart from just one thing. Oh. She's not quite as good at swimming. Here she is, <laughs> Carol Vorderman. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we break the news? Oh, Richard, about... Yeah. Well, you Richard, tell them, yeah. I will, yeah. Richard and I are starring in a new drama this year, you know. It's called Whitley Baywatch. <laughs> 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 Navy blue flannel swimsuits all around. <laughs> OK. Well, back again. And she's a year older since the last time uh, yeah. we met. It doesn't even so am I. 35. But, uh, 35, Carol. Three score years and ten. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, to business, to business. Let's uh, crack off this first game of this brand new series, this brand new year. Janet. Choose, please. 
A consonant, please, Carol. A consonant. We start the new year with the letter S. Consonant. Q. Vowel. And O. Vowel. A. Consonant. T. Consonant. G. Vowel. U. You've got it. Well done. Uh, consonant. C. And a vowel, please. And I. Thank you. And the first countdown of the new series of the new year starts now. Six for Janet and Glynn. Five. Five. So five for McGlynn is? Squat. Squat. Q and the U, but squat for five. Now six. Quotas. Quotas. Yes, quotas. What do you say, fellas, over there? Uh, yes, there's... They're, they're, they're fine, I think, aren't they? Yes, yes that's fine. There's, uh, there's quoits as well, the game quoits, but there is a spectacular seven. Um, how do you say it? Agoutis, is it? Agoutis. Agoutis. Yes. These are burrowing rodents. Agoutis. Isn't that good? Good. So agoutis there for seven, but lots of uh, sixes as well. Well, not lots, but one or two sixes, quoits and so on. And uh, Janet's winner. Quotas. Fine. Off the mark for you, Janet. Over to you, Glyn. Uh, Consonant, please, Carol. D. And another, please. Another one. L. And another. G. And another. And another one. R. And a vowel, please. A. And another. E. And another. I. And a consonant, please. N. And another consonant, please. And another consonant, thank you. And S. And the countdown starts now. Coming back with an eight now, and Janet? Eight. An eight. Uh, Janet's eight. Dealings. 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 Yes, dealings, and Glyn? Readings. And readings. Readings, dealings, yes, I'm sure there's no problem with those. That's very good for eight, and you're well and truly off the mark with that. Glyn, uh, Geoffrey and Mark? Yes, they're absolutely fine, but there is a nine. We've started the year All with right. nine. Fantastic. Drag line. Yep, um, a drag line is an excavator with a bucket pulled in by a wire rope. Did you get that, Geoffrey? I did not get that. I absolutely did not get that. That was Mark. <laughs> Wonderful. OK, well, my word, my word. What a word. So, we've nine lots of words in only the second round. Uh, of the series, but of course we prefer it if our contestants uh, got the nine letter, but they both got eight, so no problems at all. Fourteen and eight. Round three, Janet's turn. <laughs> 